Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I haven't had much time to prepare a video for this week because, well, we've been a bit sick. We got tested. It's not the human malware. So I'm going to try and knock out something at least. And well, you guys have been waiting for a, well, a review or a test or a look of this guy for a little while. And what this is, is a Dahua doorbell, but then a different outside door model uh, form factor and well yeah let's take a look at it okay so looking at it uh, with this camera for a while it's an all metal construction just like uh, the previous doorbell and it has a little camera here it has an IR blaster here which is still by default off and only turned on when you press the button. I'm not sure what the bottom sensor does, but then it has uh, two microphone holes and a speaker. And well, if we take a look at it from the top desk cam, uh, you can see the construction. As I said, two little microphones here, a, uh, a speaker grill and the camera itself. Specification wise, it basically runs the same operating system and firmware except that it has a slightly different camera module. It has a smaller size and it's less um, color HDR optimized as the website says. And well, I put that to the test, but we'll get to that in a minute. Construction wise, this one is different. And the, the main benefit of it is that you can actually rotate this inner part to, well, suit your needs. So if I take the back plate off, and well, it's basically three pieces. So there's this place holding it in and you can screw it uh, over here. There's a screw mount, you can screw it in. And uh, there's the outer shell, but as you can see here, it has these ridges. And if you look at the, uh, the bare inside unit, basically, you can see it has these ridges at the uh, top part also. And with that, you can actually angle the camera to where you need it to point. So as a test uh, this afternoon, I put it on my wall using very expertly crafted uh, tape, of course, hey, and I angled it a little bit to be able to see the person that's standing in front of the door instead of just pointing straight out. And uh, a difference here is that I believe the previous model has the, the bulged lens, so it has a 160 degree view and it's very wide. And then this one has I think it's only 90 degrees, but I'll have to check. I'll have it on the screen. Um, so it has a much less wide area of view, but generally that's better for image quality and uh, more light. And well, since you can rotate it, well, you can just point it at the right spot. So even if you have to do it in an angle and let's see how much angle we can actually achieve here. Um, so if we put it in and we can yeah, I think this would be maximum because then it's kind of flush. So yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good angle if you want to mount it. And um, the complaint I read a lot about the previous unit, which I liked in regards to looks, so that's why I got that one, is that it's much too wide. Well, that depends on your situation, of course. But if you want to mount it on your door frame, sure. I, I get that it's too wide. So let's take a quick look at how wide this one is because even though it's less wide, it's not very shallow or uh, small, I guess. So I'd give this about seven centimeters, uh, or we can, we can look at it here, I guess. Yeah, about seven centimeters by 16, seven, oh, 16 and a half. Okay. So that's not small, but of course this is a unit that has PUE inside of it. I've read a lot of people also about what this thing is. Um, this together with the bracket will make sure that this button is depressed and that is the anti-theft or anti-tamper alarm that if this button gets released like that, well, the alarm goes off. Of course, I've disabled that in software, so that's why you're not hearing anything. Okay, well, physically, there's not that much to show, really. Uh, I have the UTP cable connected. There's a little uh, plastic rubbery piece you can put here. 
And then at the bottom here, you can see all the connections uh, for uh, the relay, uh, external power, or something like that. I'm powering it with 48 volt PUE, so that works fine. And um, well, if we press the button, oh, right. let's do that. If we uh, press the button, eh. there we go. Let's, uh, there we go, silence that. And uh, well, video is pretty responsive. In regards to software, I believe these units are mostly identical. Um, I have noticed a difference because it's not the same firmware binary. And this one is running an older version than the one before that, or sorry, this one is running an older version than the previous model we looked at. That one has a newer firmware available. And also some options were missing. So with the previous version, sorry, with the, pre with the other model, I have to keep this right, uh, we could select uh, 1080p or NTSC, for instance, and this one is locked to PAL, so 25 frames per second, and we can only do 720p, although this is supposed, supposedly also a 2 megapixel sensor. Now, in regards to image quality, I'll show you a little bit. Uh, let me first show you how I had it installed outside, so you can have a good look at what the scenario and the situation is. And I'll also show you side-by-side -side shots of the previous model and this model to see how it looked. Now, I did some tweaking because out of the box, it, this one didn't look that great. And the other one, the previous model, had a lot, a lot better colors and vibrancy and better HDR. I think the previous model actually has hardware HDR, where this one does some software tricks to try and emulate the same thing, I guess. Not sure. Um, image quality wise, I think the previous model is better, but as you can see from the night footage with the lights on, etc., actually this one performed better than the previous model. I'm not sure why that is, maybe because the light is glaring into the lens because it's such a wide lens, but maybe I just need to clean the lens, but hey, you know, uh, yeah. Um, what I like about this one, I'm going to disconnect uh, the screen real quick, is it has a very good button again. I'm, I'm just a sucker for good buttons. I don't know. And, and da, 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 wa, da, wa, da, wa. I can't pronounce it. I, whatever. Uh, it has a really good button pressing making guy. I don't know. He makes good buttons. Yes. Um, yeah, construction wise, I'm very happy with it. It's, it's really, it's, it's a solid piece of work. And, um, once screwed into the wall, I have no issue believing that it will last for many years. As I said, let's take a look at, well, we already took a look at the outside situation and let's take a look at some footage and I'll overlay my thoughts on the screen.
Okay, well, um, make up your own conclusions, of course, with that footage. In my opinion, the other model uh, provides a better image quality. I think it has a better quality sensor than this one has. Um, but well, this one is physically a lot smaller, although with the, you know, with the outside unit attached, uh, whoop, blah, 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 blah. let's get in there. Yeah, not sure how this, there we go. With the outside unit attached, it's still pretty bulky. It's not like a sleek nest or ring doorbell. It's, it's a lot more bulky, I think because of the power hardware and stuff like that. Um, but I don't mind that really. As I said, I actually like the other model. I selected it because of the looks. Um, but as I said, image quality wise, I think it does a little bit worse. It depends on the situation. I was able to tweak it, as you could see in the, in the demo footage, to look a lot better than it did out of the box. Um, but it runs the same software, so it has the same capabilities like with Home Assistant and things like that. Some stuff regarding that changed, but I have a, uh, a, I've updated the description there and I've also added a sticky comment where you can find the new procedure on how to do the Home Assistant part and that's still been working great. Um, so conclusion, well, I don't really have a conclusion. Y you form your own conclusion if you like, uh, if you like this unit better than the previous one. Dah Dahwa has lots of different models which are running the same software stack, so have basically the same functionality. And I've had some people on my Discord server, join the Discord server, that um, have tried some of the other models and have had good success with them and like them. So yeah. Uh, as I said, just a quick video to have something this week, and well, I hope you like it anyway, and I hope to see you guys back in the next video. Bye-bye.